Hey everyone, welcome back to Apollo Art Analysis. In today's episode, we're going to be studying a piece by the career multidisciplinary artist known as James Surrey. And in this episode, we're going to be looking at the common and timeless symbolism of the skull. We're also going to explore the ascension which we all meet at the end of our lives. So let's jump right into it. So at first sight, we're met with the subject who appears to be a skeleton who is shattering and dying before our eyes. It's hard not to feel a sense of shock from the stunning and, of course, shocking scene before us here. Of course, the placement of our subject is quite interesting, right? It is kind of to the side. There is this sense of negative space within this composition. There's also a sense of motion and hair within that as well. And you'll notice, of course, the dark background, almost like a cosmic kind of space night sky, allows the accent of our subject to the most intense degree possible. One of the first things I notice, of course, is this sense of light texture and color. In the impact of color, you see this instantly. It just strikes you, right? We have most of this is going to be the base of a blue, but within that we have a little bit of green. We also have red, pink, orange, and a little bit of yellow as well. And so this is very important, right? You have the blue, green. Those are going to be the two colors that go together. And the orangish, pink, or red, and a little bit of yellow that goes together as well. But those two sets on either side are going to be contrasting each other and fighting for the viewer's attention. I think we certainly feel that here. Like I said, you have the blue base, but within that you have the contrast, that brilliant contrast of the reddish, orange, that yellow, and that pink there as well. All very important when we're looking at this composition. It even defines the contours of the subject's skull up in the composition as well, although that doesn't appear to be the main subject, or perhaps it is a echo or a hologram of our lone subject there. It's hard to see exactly what's happening, but regardless, one of the other things I see here is the impact of texture, right? It is fluid, it is dynamic, it is even rough in a way as well, and in some aspects it's rough, but in other aspects it's smooth, and this area you see it's much more smooth and fluid. When we get up here, it's a lot rougher, kind of like the splattering of paint, and like I said, there's a sense of motion inherent within this composition, right? There is this translation, you know, the curve of our subject's head, the, you know, head looking upward. It looks as if he's falling backwards, dying before our eyes, and even shattering as well. And so I wanted to ask y'all, you know, how do y'all feel when you first saw this composition? Of course, our lone subject appears to be a human in some kind or another, but despite that, it is very bare bones. You know, you can see straight into the lone subject's eyes and his nose as well. It is kind of decaying away right before our eyes as well and the symbolism here is truly timeless you know it is the skull right for countless millennia even further back than that the skull is the symbol of death and that is very evident it is very obvious right whenever we decay when we die we decay away into the skeleton and the skull so it's almost inevitable that a symbol like that is going to inherently convey death and so the title of this work as ascension is pretty interesting right this sense of ascension there is a transition from the bottom into the above perhaps we are raising or going up towards the highest of heavens and i want to ask you you know what exactly is happening here we see this skull which is looking over our subject's shoulder it's hard to say who that is or maybe it's also the lone subject here like i hinted at earlier perhaps it is the echo of our lone subject as they kind of rise up towards the highest of heavens like i said he's looking over his shoulder it also kind of reminds me of the grim reaper who arrives to reap the souls in bring upon the state of death and it's hard to say like I said exactly what is happening but we do know that there is a death within this composition and the colors here are bright and lively you know this paint here it is iridescent it is neon it is intense it is absolutely stunning and it even feels positive in a way and I, that's pretty interesting you know you see a positive and a very intense bright and lively color palette attributed to something like a skull so there is the positive and the negative as well but perhaps they're interesting playing and kind of defining one another by each other's existence but like I said I want to ask all you know what do y'all see when you view this composition or what exactly do you think is happening here regardless it's a very stunning piece and the work before us appears to be a digital painting but even aside from that there does appear to be some additional edits whether that's Adobe Photoshop or another program here this intense light you know this 
iridescent and neon brush strokes. It's absolutely stunning, and we'd love to see it here. Really hope y'all enjoyed today. Like I said, this is a very stunning composition. It even is a little tall as well. It is taller than what we typically associate with, you know, the regular composition, which would be closer to a square. But, you know, that's not unwarranted. It's not unwelcome by any means. I think that is absolutely amazing to really show this. We can see the subject's body all the way to the head and this also companion or say echo of the lone subject as well. There's even a splatter of blood in the upper right composition, but at the end of the day, this is a very stunning digital painting, a very close attention to detail, and like I said, a very stunning composition. Really hope y'all enjoy it today. We talked about so many different things from the title of this work as Ascension, you know, ascending towards the highest of heavens, to the sense of fluid texture within the composition, the sense of motion, the vivid and vibrant colors within this work. There's so much we hit on today. Day. I really hope y'all enjoyed. If y'all did, go check out the original artist, James Saray, doing some amazing stuff. He has a lot of works. I first showcased him you know, almost two years ago at this point. It's been quite a while, but nonetheless, it's always a blessing to study this artist. Like I said, he works in multiple different mediums, and I think we certainly see the impact of this within the work at hand. So like I said, if y'all enjoyed, go check out the original artist, James Saray. My name's Apollo. This was Apollo Art Analysis, and I'll see y'all on the next episode. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you'd like to support our work directly, please check out our Apollo community tokens. Apollo Art Exchange is an ecosystem of art appreciation which elevates artists each and every day. Thanks for listening.